Hello and welcome everybody to 1997. We'll talk about the differences between 97 and 98 here in a minute. Now, <laughs> today's episode is about impressions. What has left an impression on you? Now, there's always going to be somebody who was like, I ran into a door and it left an impression on my forehead when I was five years old. All right, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like memorable things, right? So for me, when this came out in the 90s, 97, this was just the most beautiful thing on the planet. I couldn't believe how beautiful it was. And I never got hit it in the 90s. We'll change that here today. And I really thought this would just never be topped. Obviously now there are some lovely things, but this to me <laughs> was stunning. And I love the name, King Cobra Titanium. It just sounds like, what, SR-71 Blackbird, awesome. And the word Cobra, for me, this is going to give away how old I am here, but for me, Karate Kid, Cobra Kai, right? I always think, I always think of that, you know, dojo. They were kind of the uh, antagonists in that film, but like, I still think it's awesome, right? So it's like Cobra, it's like combining karate and SR-71 Blackbird and military missiles and all sorts of cool stuff right here in this awesome, and it looks awesome too. So for me, I'm pretty excited about this club. So for identification purposes, it's pretty easy to recognize it. They put, they cut out, they literally took periodic table of elements and cut out a little square and just kind of put it right here. TI, that's the symbol for titanium. Wood oversized, I guess bigger than their stainless models maybe. King Cobra and one wood. This is the loft right here, 11.5. Now. This is the 97 model. You can tell because it's beat blasted all the way across. If you see a masking mark right here, then you have the 98 model because they masked this portion off. So this is exposed titanium and the rest of it's painted. So it will expose titanium here too. So you'll have a painted crown and painted skirt and yeah, it'll be pretty obvious if you have the 98 model. Either way, you have these two kind of pseudo rails with kind of a cavity right here kind of an oval shaped cavity, King Cobra. Now the crown, now real quick, the face, you can see the dots on the face. Love this. Lots of companies still do this, put the little target right there on the face. And the crown, the alignment Cobra, which I love by the way, absolutely stunning. And your two little concave ridges right here. I like this as well. Uh, it looks like it's gonna add some, prevent some flex here but that's just my imagination. I think it's mostly just cosmetic. And if you look at this lovely sharp point they put back here, that's always a fun thing to put on a club head. The plum crusher back here, you can see it says Cobra right here. And look at this feral, black, copper, red. It's just, I love this feral. This feral to me has always stood out to me as just absolutely stunning. Reading about the shaft here, on the shaft it says, oversized stabilizing tip. The idea that a wider shaft is gonna give you maybe less you know, <laughs> maybe more torque. Uh, I'm actually gonna measure this right here for us. Normally I don't, you know, get too nerdy, but sometimes you just gotta geek out. What can I say? So looking at this, um, this shaft is about 0.37. So normally iron shafts have that diameter right where they enter the hosel. But this is a really thick neck here for this for a driver shaft. I think the lots of modern ones are 0.355. So it does have kind of a larger shaft right here. So moving up the shaft, you can see labeled with again, this periodic TI titanium wood. This one has what looks like very much an aftermarket golf pride tour wrap grip. Something system here, graphite, regular, medium. So, just a really fun, interesting looking head, but how does it feel when you actually hit it?
So this club looks great and it feels good. I had no complaints. The thicker shaft didn't bother me on the range. The head is a larger size, so it feels good. Remember, in this era, we're still coming out of the steel metal wood head, the small metal wood head, think uh, tailor-made Pittsburgh persimmon metal wood head era. And we're launching into the titanium era. And this is one of the great grandfathers of your titanium drivers. So this is large and this does build a lot of confidence. I feel much more confident hitting this than a, an old tailor-made burner or an old Pittsburgh persimmon, right? So for me, yes, it feels good, sounds good, lots of confidence. And of course it's 11.5, so I you know, could hit it pretty well. Just a wonderful club. So this, dare I say it, is one of the most beautiful clubs ever to come out in the 90s, one of the most beautiful drivers. And there's some serious competition out there for that crown. So let me know, is this in, is this in your top 10? Is it in my top 10, my top three most beautiful drivers in the 90s? King Cobra, titanium oversized, looking forward to reading your thoughts about this club, about impressions of golf. Somebody out there is going to be like Nick Faldo and somebody else is going to be like Johnny Miller. And yeah, actually those, those two are actually probably in my top 10 as well for people who have left an impression on me in the golfing world. So if you enjoy this content, be sure to subscribe. If you want to support this channel, please visit my Amazon shop in the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.